partido bastante parejo, jugó al campeón de la Libertadores contra el campeón de la Champions. Podría haber sido para cualquiera de los dos, pero vos pensás que influyó que vinieron al estadio que tiene la mejor hinchada del mundo. ¿Sintieron la diferencia en eso? Que Boca tiene el jugador número 12 que no la van a encontrar en ninguna parte del mundo, solo acá en esta cancha. It uh, really was impressive to see uh, this kind of uh, fan base. Uh, I really respect Boca Juniors a lot uh, for that. And uh, I also think that they were a big support for the team today. Acá, buenas, buenas tardes, Ian. Te habla Pilar Blanco para R770 Gol de Vestuario. Bueno, el equipo lo vi que salió con mucha actitud durante todo el partido. Más allá de resultados, ¿se dio el partido que esperaban? be able to uh, be more ourselves, but uh, uh, we weren't uh, enough. So, um, yes, we expected this kind of game, uh, but we didn't get to the level that we can. Thanks. Bueno, eh, quería preguntarte principalmente eh, cuál fue la razón eh, de la derrota, si sí, también influyó mucho en, el, en la exigencia física ¿no? de ambos equipos, con salidas eh, prematuras debido a lesiones y para acá para el arquero quería preguntarle eh, cuál fue el factor en el que jugó en contra en la tanda de penales I can uh, react to your question about the physical preparation I think we did all we could to prepare us as good as possible, uh, also to deal with the jet lag, for example. And there were uh, a few players that weren't uh, at 100% fitness because they came back from an injury, so we knew uh, it was a little bit of a game gamble uh, to uh, put them on. But uh, they gave all they have, and uh, I really respect that. So they helped the team in the way they could. I think uh, Boca are the fans, of course, and we normally do our own thing, and I do my own thing, but sometimes uh, it's like gambling, you know? So I think, um, yeah, we do our best, but it's not, um, it was not for us today. Hola, buenas noches. Acá Federico Cañete para el Medio Especie. Eh, consultarle qué, qué experiencia se lleva del fútbol sudamericano, de, de la oportunidad de jugar en un estadio tan mítico como la Bombonera y eh, cómo, cómo se sintieron, bueno, recién decía, del, del clima, del cambio de horario, todo, eh, cómo se sintieron eh, física y mentalmente jugando en un estadio tan imponente como este. Muchas gracias. Para los dos la pregunta, ¿no? Para los dos. Sí, sí, por favor. I think we uh, we did a good job how we uh, adapt to the climate and to the jet lag thing. Um, we were really impressed by the fans, of course. Uh, it's uh, like I said before, an unbelievable fan base you have, and uh, they support in a way. I think nowhere in Europe you see it in this way, so intense, uh, so much passion. So the players have a very very uh, very good experience for the uh, rest of their careers because when you can play in this kind of circumstances then you can play everywhere. He asked for future. Yeah, I think it was a pleasure to play here at uh, the age we are, of course. I think we can take it to his whole career. This kind of game, this kind of fan base. I think it's an amazing club, amazing nation. And yeah, I think we uh, learned a lot about this uh, game and I 
think about the whole stadium, everything. I think so. Thank you, sir. Yeah, good thing for us, whole career for everyone. Thanks. Más, uno más. Tiam, Ramón Feiden. Buenas tardes. Quiero preguntarle a cada uno. Iván Levato de Rock and Roll para Tiam. ¿Cuál es la experiencia de venir a Argentina? ¿Cómo la pasaron en estos días viviendo acá en Argentina? ¿La estadía? ¿Qué sensaciones se llevan del país? ¿Y qué lecciones de vida les pueden servir a ambos para el futuro? Well, uh, the main focus of our staying here was training and uh, adapting to the time uh, zone. Uh, we also saw a little bit of the city. Of course, we really liked it, but the main focus is always on trying to be at our best level uh, in football. Um, I think uh, for us it's very important to know that we, as uh, not as a, a, a big club as you are, uh, that we are uh, very strongly now in our belief that we can reach to this kind of stage. And I think we really need to be proud on with what we achieved with each other. And um, yeah, today it ended up in a draw. And uh, I think we also could have won the uh, penalty uh, uh, thing. But uh, to, to be in such circumstances uh, and to be competitive with our team, that is a very, very good lesson for life. Acá, hola. Eh, Martín. Yeah, I think um, Argentina is a good football country, of course. A lot of legends here. So, uh, I think it was a good experience to be here. It's a long flight for us. So, I think uh, we've learned a lot about the flights, about uh, the whole days that we had with each other. So uh, yes, I think it's a good experience for all of us, and um, yeah, for his whole career, I think. Las dos últimas, okay? Por favor, gracias. Martín entró para sin referir a Batería con estar frente a ambos. ¿Cómo prepararon el partido no solamente desde lo táctico sino desde lo psicológico? Y imagino que con el tema que hablaban recién del set lag y demás fue difícil. También bueno, más allá de lo táctico. Well, uh, we, we knew uh, that we uh, could expect uh, what we saw today. Uh, so we saw some footage uh, of matches, of course, not only tactically, but also about the behavior of the players because they're very intense, of course, and sometimes they cross a the line. Uh, we taught our players uh, to uh, be stoic. Um, so just focus on the things that you uh, you can do, uh, and don't don't do the same thing because it's not our nature to do that. And uh, keep your head cool. That was uh, psychological the approach. And uh, tactically, uh, we really knew about how they played. We were uh, very good informed, uh, so I think on that level we did some good things. Um, but yeah, it was a draw. Yeah, I think to prepare on the jet lag, we had a whole presentation before. So everyone knows what to do, how you can avoid the jet lag. And of course the stadium, what he could accept, a lot of fans, a lot of... Um, yeah, I think everyone against us. And I think a lot of us have played the stadium, but not like this. So that's what I say. It's like a good experience for everyone. And um, yeah, I think we could be proud to be here. We uh, watched some uh, footage about uh, Boca River and the crowd <laughs> to prepare. Yeah. Thanks. How would you want? The last one. Y Juan Bautista Croza para Boca Net. Eh, vimos que son los campeones de Europa y acá en Sudamérica se respeta mucho el fútbol europeo. Vemos que tienen una dinámica distinta. 
y me gustaría saber qué los sorprendió hoy más que nada. ¿Qué es lo que prepararon sabiendo que se enfrentaban a un club sudamericano a un fútbol tan distinto como el europeo? I think uh, I already said some things about it, um, but we always want to be our, uh, to play football from our own identity. So we didn't adapt very much. Uh, we just uh, are always analyzing and see where the chances are, but always from the approach that we are playing our own kind of football. And uh, of course, you have to uh, know where the strengths and the weaknesses are of the team. Uh, but always we try to be ourselves. Yeah, I think everyone knows about the South American football. It's more aggressive than in Europe. I think we are more tactically. But um, yeah, I think we have to do not, did our own thing. And sometimes you see the difference between uh, nations. And. Uh, Yeah, I think everyone knows how Argentina played the World Cups more aggressive than we know uh, in Europe. So yeah, I think that was the difference.